recording, right? Great, fantastic. Now, don't bother mentioning anything else about the whole background or whatever. Right, greetings, free free misfits, psychos, and metalheads of all ages. This is Saffron Nataki, aka The Bad Impressive Poet, once again making a video, but this time around it's completely different from all the stuff that I've done before. Uh, mainly because I am actually on the lookout for specific feedback. As you can see, I wrote a book in 2019, which I also published in 2019. I submitted it to the Screencraft Cinematic Book Competition, and I got to the quarterfinals. Last year, I decided to adapt the first 10, 12 chapters of the book into the pilot episode of a 13-episode TV series. And I also decided to splash the cash and actually get uh, professional script reader feedback. Now, some of the feedback is actually pretty decent and highlights certain things that I really should take on board and everything. But there were other parts of the feedback that just made me think, I need to get a second opinion, or a third opinion, or a fourth opinion. And since I've noticed on YouTube there have been several different videos that have specifically shown a major disconnect between the people who are creating stuff and the actual fans of horror and sci-fi fantasy and the type of stories that they tend to consume and all that type of stuff. So I thought, okay, whatever, I'm going to now leave it up to uh, actual television, sci-fi fantasy movie fans to actually read the script and let me know whether or not if this thing was a proper TV show and it was being broadcast either on an actual channel or uh, streaming on a streaming service, that the pilot episode the first episode is intriguing enough to make you want to watch the rest of the series. Because one of the biggest things I got out of the uh, feedback was that there was a lack of conflict. Now, like I said, this is just one person's interpretation. I'm pretty sure maybe to somebody else it might be, well, actually, no, there's plenty of conflict there. There's plenty of an intrigue factor that makes you want to read more. So that's why I want to actually road test this pilot episode before I go back into it and rewrite it. Now, many of you must be then wondering, well, do, what kind of qualifications do I have to back up that I actually enter these competitions? So I'm not just going to put in the link to the PDF version of the pilot episode. I'm also going to put in a link to my official Coverfly profile, which is also the platform that I use to enter all of these screenwriting competitions. And just to push the thought home, the pilot script is based on this book which, by the way, made it all the way to the cinema, in the cinematic, uh, Screencraft Cinematic Book Competition, this one made it all the way to the quarterfinals. And shock horror, so did this pilot script. But like I said, all that information you'll be able to see in my uh, official Coverfly profile. And I'm actually looking for feedback from actual storytellers, people who watch movies and TV shows. Uh, you know, it's okay for you to say, oh, it's good, it's great, or it's crap, or it's this, or it's that, that's fine. But what I'm actually looking for is genuine feedback on whether or not the, the pilot episode is intriguing enough to make you want to watch more. To Because uh, it's a 13 episode series, like I mentioned. And obviously there is certain pieces of information that I haven't revealed, but that's on purpose. Just because I haven't given all you that information in the first episode, doesn't mean you're not going to get that throughout the remaining episodes. So, with that being said, I'm not asking for you to like the video, I'm not asking you for subscribing to my channel or anything of that nature, or to buy the book or anything of that either. I just need you to share this particular video, but not with everyone, just with filmmakers and storytellers and people who like storytelling in general. So, that being said, till next time, Freaks, Fiends, Misfits, Psychos, and Melhas, this is Sapna Otaki, signing out.